Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to another PhD project video tutorial. Today we are going to share a library management, online library management project system in PHP. Here you see the library website homepage where you can showcase your library information. And here's a section under hero section. All of library available books will be displayed here and your visitors can check the book name or show the categories so let's go to login our library management system admin panel so here you just put your admin details here is our library management system admin portal here you can add books student courses and transactions like a book a bro and return so as a librarian you can manage uh, your library management by this library management project so in this video we will share how you install on your local jam server and also uh, we uh, show you how to manage those uh, library works as a librarian by using this project so let's go to uh, installation process where we can install our uh, library management project so here is the main project file uh, we will get from our a download link from and video description and our websites after getting this project you will have to place it on your local host jam server so just copy just extract this first of all just extract this and copy the library ms this folder and go to your go to your c drive where you install jamp and go to stdocs and here you just paste your copied folder library ms So here you see a library ms folder is uh, placed and make sure you open your jamp jamp and run apache server and mysql server then go to library ms folder and open vs code by using short command like code space let's stop On VS Code, you go to check your database name, go to admin includes and connection.php. Here you see the database name is library ms. PHP my admin, localhost slash php my admin and make a same name. Same name database. And click to create we need to import our SQL file which uh, we already given to you in 
and library ms under library ms and db database folder and you just you just click to import and click choose file go to your c drive jamp stdocs library ms database folder and sql file click to import here you see we successfully imported our database and then go to your browser and browse local localhost slash library ms so here you see we successfully run our library management system project so let's uh, go to on software demonstration part uh, here we log into our library management system portal and manage our some library and tasks like adding new student new course new books and some uh, book bro and return uh, functionalities click to login and here's you need to place your admin username password username will be admin and password will be admin after placing username admin and password is same as admin you click to sign in and uh, and then you successfully log in your uh, dashboard of uh, online library management system project so first of all let's uh, we add a book click to new and a book unique identification number let's see Let's check the book published date is and click to save. You will you will show a success uh, message. Uh, your book su added successfully. I should say uh, the ISBN number, book ISBN number, chemistry experiment, book title, book author, and you can edit and delete from here. So after adding this book, uh, you can check your online website. Library MS. Here you can also saw that our recently added book a uh, chemistry experiment is also available on our uh, website library website here let's uh, we create a category your category is added and if you want to create a new student let's uh, add some student Bachelor of Computer Science student. You can choose uh, photos by using this functionality and save. So we successfully add new student who can use our library and collect a book and return from here. You can also add different courses from here. Just click to add course. 
on the main main part is if as a librarian you can give someone to a bro book and collect from book from them do this functionality you go to on transaction part here you can suppose you like to bro a book a student so click bro and click to add bro new bro list you get this unique student id uh, when you create a new, new student and collect a student id from a student and place it here and also identification and book isbn number if you have to place click to save successfully we give a book to a student we brought a book to this id student this way you brought to book a student when a student want to return a book at library you go to a return transaction option and click to return add student id number and return book isbn number and click to save so that's the way you can successfully return this book so you can check this book is returned so no more uh, showing this broad status so this way you can manage your uh, library by using this project so thanks all to watching to our video tutorial of PHP library management system keep watching our videos and keep subscribe to our channel uh, we'll share more exciting PHP website template